Good morning. <sighs> Good morning. 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 Good morning, Trinity students, and welcome to our Wednesday chapel service. Let's go ahead and get started with a few moments of silent prayer or meditation. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Loving God, we stand before you this morning thinking about our friends, young and old. Help us to support them in their strength and in their weakness, to remind them to be their best selves when they are foolish, to love them however they are. We remember especially people who are scared, who are upset and sad, who care, are confused, who are confused and bothered. We thank you, God, for friends who take care of us when we need them. Give us grace to listen to them, to speak with them, to be silent for them, and always and everywhere to give them our best. We pray throughout Jesus Christ, who still calls himself a company of God's friends. Amen. Here are the birthdays for March. Alice, Avery, Maylie, Grayson, Desmond, Atavi, Sadie, Austin, Shiloh, Violet, Mia, Adam, Stella, Elise, Layton, Tatum, Bella, Reed, Harper, Milani, Megan, Caius, Samuel, Gunner, Cohen, Mary Catherine, Charles, Miss Gracie, Miss Lesky, Miss Martinez, and Miss Burns. If you will join in saying the birthday blessing with me. O oh God, our times are in your hand. Look with favor, we pray, on your servants as they begin another year. Grant that they may grow in wisdom and grace and strengthen their trust in your goodness all the days of their lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Happy birthday! The reading this morning is from John chapter 13. Enduring supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. <laughs> then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with a towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, you do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, you will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but my, also my hands and my head. After he had washed their feet and returned to the table, he said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you also should do as I have done to you. Very truly, I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them the word of the Lord. Hey guys, good morning. Father Stephen here. As I was preparing for today's talk, it occurred to me how different Jesus' message is than some of the messages that you and I get all the time. Think about some of the things we do on a daily basis, making TikTok videos or things for Instagram and all of these other things. Think about the commercials we see. They tend to always be focused on us. It's about me being known, me being seen, or people looking at the things I do. The story about Jesus is so vastly different than that. So the story starts out with Jesus is having dinner with his friends and they're sitting around a table and he's preparing them for what's about to come. And that's his trial, conviction, his brutal death, and then eventually his resurrection. But I don't want to jump too far ahead. Right now we're at, at the table with his friends. And Jesus not only is teaching them, he says, I'm going to give you an example of what I mean, what it means to be a follower of me. And so he takes a towel and he wraps it around his waist and he gets down on his knees and he starts to wash the feet of his disciples. And they argue and say, no, 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 don't do this. And he says, you need to understand to be my follower means to be a servant of others. Because I'm serving you, you are supposed to serve others like this. And then when he finishes, he finishes with the most, one of the biggest lines in scripture. And he gives us a commandment that we are to love others as he loves us. So the point that I want to get out there to you is that so often we tend to think of ourselves. We tend to focus on what is important to me in the moment. And our message in this, the message of Monday, Thursday, the message of Jesus washing the disciples' feet, the message of the command to love others is that we need to focus on other people. Science actually tells us now one of the things that help us to be happy in life is if we are in service to others. So if we volunteer, if we do things to make other people happy, if we go out of our way to help other people, it's a scientific guarantee, one of the ways that we can guarantee we will have a happier life. And so Jesus obviously was onto something. My prayer for you is this, that you will think about the ways that you can serve other people. It can be really small ways. It can just be a, a helping hand. It could be a smile. It could be something simple. You could also go out and work somewhere and volunteer your time. But one way or another, I urge you, I hope that you will think about getting out of yourself and going out to serve in some capacity. And remember, Jesus commands us to do that. Jesus commands us to love one another. So that is our call as Christians. It's a very challenging thing sometimes, but it is absolutely worthy, especially as a person of faith, someone who attends school where you regularly go to chapel and talk about these things. This is something that is expected of us 
from Jesus. So it's our job to try to live into that as best as possible. May God bless you. Hope you guys have a great week. Bye. Now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O oh God, we pray for Trinity Episcopal School and our sister school in Haiti, St. Jacques. In the course of our busy days at school, help us to remember your presence in our lives. Incline our hearts to keep your commandments and guide us in the way of peace and kindness. So that way we always rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. 